after we have discussed about the interference in a non uniform pin flip by the newton's ring method okay so this is a one of the best example to determine the interference in a non uniform pin flip method so so in this method the newton's ring method you are studying before itself we know that basic length uh, that is the concave lens convex lens plano convex lens and the positive minuses and the negative minuses so just to see that diagram uh, because of this is you know means then this type of lens only we can use it in this newton ring experiment so that only i will give the some basic uh, we can use the basic type of lens okay so you see that that is a concave lens so in this concave lens uh, that uh, that is you see that uh, this is a image uh, this is a image of concave lens so the concave lens uh, the top this is a inside curve that is a inside curve of the uh, layer means that is a concave lens that is a outside layer uh, curved surface means that is a convex lens okay so in this con concave lens the center part this center part is a thinner part the corner two edge part is a that is a thicker part so this type of lens in this concave lens the convex lens the center part is a th uh, thicker part the corner edge of the two lens that is a thinner part okay so based on uh, in this type of lens the convex and the concave lens Uh, we give the uh, converging and the diverging process. So based on this convex lens, that is a uh, that is a converging process. Based on concave lens, is a diverging process. The converging process lens, you see that this is a convex lens. Okay, the curved surface, the spherical surface, bulging outside of the uh, outside of outside of the layer. So this is called the convex lens. Okay, so in this bio convex lens means that is a side is very thin the uh, area but in this bio convex lens uh, the convex lens we say that another one uh, type means there is a plano convex lens another one is a plano convex lens what is the plano convex lens means that is a positive focal length element that have one spherical surface and a flattened surface of this plano convex lens so in this plano convex lens we say that uh, another one type means that is a positive meniscus what is the meaning of positive me uh, meniscus uh, the positive mini uh, meniscus lens as a step stepper convex surface and is thicker at and is you see that and is thicker at the center part than at the outer boundary of this lens okay so this type of process occurring in this converging lens that is a converging lens means that is a convex lens that is another one is a diverging lens that is a concave lens okay so in this uh, concave lens uh, the lens that possess at a least one surface least one surface and its least one surface that curve inverts that is called the concave lens based on this convex lens we can uh, type of concave lens means that's the bio uh, by concave lens plano concave lens negative meniscus so the uh, so convex lens means that is a outside that is a uh, bulging outwards con concave that is a convex means bulging outside convex means that is a bulging inside so this is uh, you easily you can uh, understand that that is the convex lens and the concave lens so uh, example you are taking any lens uh, in your hand so easily you can identify that one the this type of lens is a concave lens this type of lens is a convex lens how to identify based on uh, outside surface uh, bulging means that is a convex lens inside of the surface bulging means that is a concave lens concave lens one surface one surface is a flat one surface is a flat one surface only inward bulging means that is a 
plano concave lens another one plano convex lens means one surface side is flat another one side is a bulging from outside so this type of lens we say that there is a plano convex lens so negative uh, meniscus the negative meniscus occurring from concave lens only so the lens as a stepper concave surface and is a thinner at the center then at the outer boundary of the lens okay so based on this type of lens we can use it in this newton's ring experiment in the newton's ring experiment what type of lens we have used means that is a plano convex lens so this type of lens we can use it in this newton ring so come to the our newton's ring experiment so already i said that uh, the newton ring rings are one of the best example for the interference in a non uniform phase plane by the reflection method okay so in this experiment who is the uh, discovering newton's only discovered so th that only we called this uh, type of spectrum this type of fringes we say that that is a newton's ring okay. so what is the definition of newton's ring means when a plano convex lens with it is convex surface is placed on a plano glass plate so then a plane is formed between the lower surface of the plano convex lens and the upper surface of the glass plate so in this uh, thickness of the film at that point is contact is there zero so based on this uh, film the monochromatic light is allowed to fall normally and the film is viewed in the refracted light alternating uh, light that is say that dark or bright rings that is a uh, concentric around the point of contact between the lens and the glass plate or see so in this type of experiment to occur in a circular rings circular rings uh, uh, rings were discovered by the newton so that, that is only we called the you see that this is a uh, spectrum of the newton's ring spectrum okay so this spectrum observed by the newton so that only we called for this is a newton's ring so this is a dark fringe pattern that is a bright fringe pattern so you see that so how to occur this dark fringe pattern how to occur this bright fringe pattern and why were uh, the center of the dark fringe pattern the width should be very high after going for continuously fringe pattern the width be small very close to the before spectrum so what is the reason so that is we can explain that in this experimental part experimental procedure okay let's go for what is the experimental arrangement so in this experimental Uh, newton's ring experimental arrangement what are the apparatus we want it means first one microscope we want one microscope normal glass plate monochromatic light source and the lens so this is not necessary glass plate and the monochromatic light source another one is a plano convex lens another one is a plain glass plate okay so in this apparatus we want to make this experiment okay first thing uh, the plano convex lens so first of all you take it yeah this is a plano convex lens uh, of large radius of curvature large radius of the curvature is placed with its convex surface on a this is a convex surface on the plano convex lens the convex surface on a plain glass plate that is the top plain glass plate point you touch so in this lens make the contact so in this contact this point we say that that is a o this point we make it that that is a o point that is the center point of this uh, the plano convex lens the uh, outside edge that is a building curved surface touched by a plain glass plate that point we are consider for o then you go, uh, apply the monochromatic light falls on a glass plate so we are using the one lens that is sometimes we want sometimes no need because of this lens no necessity but what type of lens you are used here means that is a normal convex lens so the convex lens means that is the converging of the light source so the monochromatic light source uh, to fall down this uh, lens means so the light should be converging to the normal glass plate so in this glass plate uh, held at an angle of 45 degree 
angle with vertical direction. Why you are kept in the 45 degree angle means the light will be fall down this uh, lens means. So this lens to fall down a horizontal direction. So in this direction only light will be flowing. Okay, but the lens will be kept it for bottom of the place. So in this place only we can determine what is the uh, interference occur. Okay, so that is the purpose. This light source to be fall down the plano uh, plano convex lens. So that only we can keep it for 45 degree angle. So light will be fall down this glass plate means then light source should be reflected in this downside. Okay, so light uh, downwards we are moving means the light will be fall down the plano convex lens. Okay, so the glass plate G uh, that is we can say the using the symbol of G glass plate. Okay, so G. reflects normally a part of the incident light normally a part of the incident light towards the air flame enclosed by the lens lens in the plano convex lens under the glass plate a part of the light is reflected by the curved surface of the lens part of the light reflected by the curved surface of the lens and a yeah, part is transmitted. So this light transmitted to the back side, that is, which is reflected back from the plane glass plate, that is, the plane surface of the glass plate. So in this reflected rays, interference, uh, that is, interference and a due rise to an interference pattern in the form of the circular ring. So how to form up the circular ring? Because of this air plane. So in this air plane, there is a ray one will be reflected here. Another one is a ray two can be reflected here itself. So these rings are seen near the upper surface of the air plane through the microscope. So this is the upper surface of the microscope. You can get it. So after that, this reflected rays will be focusing on this microscope. So through in this microscope, you can visible that the neutron ring pattern. So this is a experimental arrangement. Okay, so now go for uh, what is the explanation how to the light ray will be reflected, the rays how to occur in this uh, neutron ring experiment. That only we can see that. So this is for the only in the part, in this part. The down, this part only we can enlarge the spectrum. So this is a normal plano convex lens. This is a plain glass plate. So the light ray will be followed on this plano glass surface in the top surface fall down okay so that particular point what is the ray should be reflected okay so, so this uh, this only we can study it here okay that is the explanation of this newton ring so based on this uh, ray the interference pattern occur so in this uh, newton ring experiment what type of interference pattern occur means that is a non uniform flip so this is a non uniform flip before studies that is the interference by the reflection method that is a uniform because of top one plate is there and the bottom also one plate you kept it your light fall down means there is a two type of ray should be occurred but if this is a non-uniform lens you can kept it here so in this non-uniform lens how to ray should be reflected so what is the conditions so that conditions only now we can study it okay so the newton things are formed due to interference between interference between the light rays reflected from the top and bottom top and bottom surface of the air flame between the plate between the between the plate and lens okay so in this formation of neutron ring uh, the a yeah, part of incident monochromatic light that is from a to b so in this point we are considered for b point from a to b is reflected at b at the B point should be reflected, that is a ray one. So this uh, uh, reflected B point, yeah. So here, what is the uh, conditions occur means you see that that is a glass. This is a uh, glass and air boundary. Glass and air boundary in this occur from the ray one with an additional phase or path changes in this ray one light and the uh, second thing some amount of light refracted here yeah, some amount of light refracted so the refracted light along to the 
j point so this is a j point you have considered okay so along to the j so that is a bj reflected along the bj then the j point then the j point what is the condition here means that is the air glass or air lens okay air lens boundary occur first one is the air then go for lens okay in this process occur in this uh, reflected in the form of ray two here what is the additional uh, phase change uh, ch phase change of the ray two means that is a five phase change or what is a path change means that is a lambda by two in this experimental section okay so based on in this experimental sections now we see that the rings are observed in the reflected light the path difference between them what is the path difference occur in this spectrum means that is a 2 mu t cos r plus lambda by 2 okay so in this uh, condition in this path difference conditions let us consider what is the meaning of mu that is a product is the thickness of the uh, plane T is the thickness of the plane convex lens and the normal glass plate. So between this thickness, in this thickness, that is a T. And the cos, what is the angle? Uh, what is the angle of ray should be reflected in this the lens? So lambda by two, that is you know that that is a path change of the rays. Okay, so now let us consider the air film and uh, the film kept it, kept in air medium. So the air medium means what is the refractive index means that is a mu equal to one. So mu equal to one, let us consider the air medium means. So that particular case is what is the normal incidence? What is the normal incidence? So normal incidence, what is the value means? That is the R equal to zero. Normal incidence, what is the value means? R equal to zero. So now we can substitute these values, mu values and R values, the above equation cos r, r can be replaced to zero. So cos zero, what is the value means? That is a one. Okay, so cos zero degree, that is a one. And then mu, mu is a one. So what is the path difference? So path difference, two mu into one, t cos zero value one. So one into any number, the same number you can get it. So two t plus lambda by two, two t plus lambda by two. This is a path difference uh, observed by the refractor light. Uh, between them okay so now uh, the t thickness of the point let us consider at the point of contact the t value should be zero that is a there is a no gap no thickness no gap is uh, occur just to see that yeah so in this point in this point you have considered means then what is the t value here both the point the plane convex lens and the normal glass plate touched this point so there is a no gap. So here t equal to zero. But in this point, I have considered means some t, some gap is there. Okay. So based on this gap, the rays should be occur. Uh, in, uh, it can occur the interference. So without gap, there is a no interference occur. So at that point, the contact t equal to zero we have considered means what is the path difference means t equal to zero, zero into any number zero. So only we can get it lambda by Two. the path difference equal to only lambda by two there is a no phase change there is a no path change occur in this uh, interference pattern so in this reflected light at the point of contact surface that is a phase change of pi then the incident and the reflected lights are out of phase and the interference destructively so we can say that what is there uh, the destructively occur means so that particular time uh, we say that uh, the hence uh, the center part is a dark hence the center part is a dark of the spectrum okay okay so based on this uh, spectrum uh, based on in this spectrum we can write it what is the conditions for bright fringe so already you know that uh, what This is a condition. This is a fringe condition. Already you have studied about the interference by the reflection method. Yeah. So the condition for bright fringe 2t plus lambda by 2, that is the path difference in these conditions. Okay. Uh, 2t plus lambda by 2 equal to n lambda. That is a bright fringe condition. So we want only uh, t values. So 2t only, I kept it here. 
So plus lambda by 2 move on right hand side means minus. So n lambda minus lambda by 2. n lambda minus lambda by 2. You cross multiply and take it lambda by 2 common means. Then you can get it 2n minus 1 into lambda by 2. So this is a 2t equal to 2n minus 1 into lambda by 2. So here uh, n values from 1 to 3, the order of the spectrum. Now we can write what is the conditions for dark ring so path difference equal to dark ring conditions so path difference in the non-uniform interference 2t plus lambda by 2 equal to uh, condition for dark ring spectrum 2n plus 1 into lambda by 2 okay so here uh, i want 2d values only i will find so this lambda by 2 move on right hand side means that is a minus lambda by 2 okay so you can multiply inside lambda by 2 so 2n lambda by 2 plus lambda by 2 minus lambda by 2. So lambda by 2, lambda by 2 cancel. 2n lambda by 2, 2, 2 cancel, we can get it n lambda. So 2t equal to n lambda. So here what is the uh, spectrum means, the dark fringe spectrum from 0, 1, 2, 3. Because of center part is a dark. So that only the n indices starting from 0. But the bright part, the first spectrum, first order spectrum only we can get it the first the bright fringes. You see that in this uh, diagram. Yeah. So this is a dark string. So from nth order, the nth will be started from here out here itself. The dark fringe spectrum. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, x up to etc. Uh, the bright fringe spectrum, this is the first, yeah, this is already started 0. This is the first one, two. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, etc. up to n numbers. So based on this uh, spectrum, uh, the bright and the dark fringe spectrum that Newton still occur. So for the monochromatic light, uh, based on this monochromatic light, the bright and the dark rings depends on the thickness of the air flame. Thickness of the air flame. For the Newton's ring system, the locus of the point having the same thickness, like a circular having the same thickness, by on a circular ring with the point of contact at the center portion. How to see that uh, in this? Yeah. So how to increase these uh, rings, the circular rings, the width should be very decreases here. And how to very close, the order of the spectrum increases means the rings get very closer. How to occur means that is based on this uh, one derivation part. That is the diameter of the fringe pattern. So we can calculate uh, how to occur on that one. Okay, so these things uh, we can discuss next.